The field of philanthropy is a living anachronism. It is, we are like a stodgy relative wearing clothes that will never come back to fashion. It is adamant that it knows best, holding tight the purse strings. It is stubborn. It fails to get with the times, frustrating the younger folks. It does not care. It is, we are like a mansion with neoclassical columns and manicured lawns, staffed with butlers and maids who pass silver trays of tiny tasteless nibbles. Pigs in the blankets, anyone? Angels on horseback? To guests wearing tailcoats and bustles as a string quartet plays tunes written centuries ago. No one's voice rises over a certain decibel. No one jokes. No one's words call attention to the ludicrous and unsustainable farce that is the entire scene. It is, we are a period play, a costume drama, a fantasy of entitlement, altruism, and superiority. Far too often, it creates or we create division and suffering rather than progress and healing. It is, we are a sleepwalking sector, white zombies spewing, spewing the money of dead white people in the name of charity and benevolence. It is, we are colonialism in the empire's newest clothes. It is, we are racism in institutional form. Philanthropy, philanthropy moves at a glacial pace. Epidemics and storms hit, communities go underwater literally and metaphorically. Black and brown children get shot dead or lose their lives inside jail cells. Families are separated across continents. Women are abused and beaten and raped. All of Rome burns while we fiddle with another survey on strategies, another study on impact. Other sectors feel the heat of competition, not us. We politely nod at the innovations of the business sector. It takes us a half a century to implement even one of them. We indulge those who say that diversity is important by, by conducting several decades of analysis, hiring consulting groups with absurd price tags. We publish reports. We create a task force and debate mildly over what to call it. We do not actually change, not more than superficially. This is philanthropy. It is, we are the family that embarrasses me and infuriates me but it is still my family, my relations, and I believe in redemption. It is from that place of calling this family to a better self that I write, philanthropy, honey, it is time for intervention. <laughs>